Hi and welcome back to the Events Diary. Today we're joined by Amanda White, hair and makeup artist. Amanda, thanks for coming today. I'm really excited. Uh, Amanda, what is your style of makeup, would you say? Um, I'd probably say that my style of makeup is um, quite naturally enhancing. Um, so I'm, I'm very much about creating flawless makeup, um, but without sort of caking it on the face. The worst. Um, so I'm very much about depicting what I think would make the person look most beautiful or enhancing their natural beauty. Um, so I tend to sort of, you know, concentrate maybe on the eyes or picking out a really like sort of um, pale sort of pink just to kind of like make it look a bit rosebud-esque mm -hmm. um, and just basically enhancing their natural beauty really. That's mainly what my makeup style is all about. And what do you think is going to be big this year regarding hair and then makeup? Um, I think um, this year, I mean, from previous years, it was all about the plaits and everything else, but I think they've come a long way now, so I think it's not just your basic plait, I think we're going to have um, blossom braids. Mm -hmm. um, what is blossom braids? Blossom braids is basically like a, like a regular plait, but it's kind of looped around at the sides, so it's like oh, a wow. double bound kind of plait. And how would you do that in a style, would it be braided? You could have it sort of in an up style, um, you could have it sweeping sort of to one side, and wow. then maybe some loose curls. Um, so it's just about creating like maybe a bigger plait than what a normal plait would be, it just creates a little bit more interest to the hair. Lovely. And what do you think the trends for makeup are going to be? Um, I think for makeup, um, I think we're, we're getting a little bit bolder. I think it being coming in, we're going to go into spring soon. Um, so I think it's going to be, you know, just adding a little bit of pop of colour on the lip. Um, I think very much the kind of doe-eyed kind of look. I think we're going to see a lot of that. Um, I think still quite natural. I think for most brides, they want to kind of keep that classic look. And how would you say you and hairstylists keep up with trends? Um, I, I actually learn a lot from other people, believe it or not. So, you know, it might be that I'm um, on a shoot with other makeup artists or hairstylists, and you know, you, you kind of have this kind of kit envy, mm -hmm. and you kind of go around and you go, what's this? Envy. Yeah, kit I envy. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you kind of like look at all their products and you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't used that, what's that like? And then you see them using it and how they use it and how they apply it and what they can achieve from it. Um, and so you kind of learn upon that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, yeah, other people would be kind of how I interpret things. Obviously you learn stuff yourself. I think from, from watching and, and seeing how other people apply, you should learn a lot from that. And if a celebrity was to come up to you and say, please do my hair and makeup, who would you want it to be? And why? Um, I would probably say, um, I quite like Mila Kunis. Um, just because she's got a really her cute eyes. like face and her features are really really gorgeous yeah. like yeah exactly her, her eyes. eyes like I, I just think they would be really lovely to work on i feel like i could create quite a lot for her and really <laughs> make them pop <laughs> mila if you're hearing this amanda white <laughs> london <laughs> if i was to meet you for the first time what would you recommend i do and look at in order to be prepared um i would say well at the moment i think things like instagram and pinterest are very key and uh, they play quite a big part in talk to us about the secret pinterest board um so like you can create like a pinterest board um and you can like type in things that in like that you like the look of so you could type in romantic bohemian hairstyles like we've spoken about um and basically things would come up on there that that other people may have um uh, you know posted on pinterest um, or it might be done with a shoe, it could be someone's wedding that they've uploaded and you just collect, it's like, a, like an online mood board and you can collect different images um, that you like the look of and it's a really great idea to just showcase everything that you like, you know, it might be that the colour is what you liked or, you know, a particular plait is what you like and you want to incorporate that, so it's just an idea, a way of getting ideas across to me um, and I can really visualise what it is that you're wanting because quite often it is by you know, it can be quite difficult, especially if you've never been married before, so it's quite difficult to kind of interpret what it is that you're looking for. Mm. Um, so just collecting images that way. And I find it a lot easier than having to sort of upload them via an email. You can just yeah. send me a link to the Pinterest board, so I find that quite useful. Um, and yeah, I've, really, I've just kind of, um, just give a description maybe of what you normally wear. Mm -hmm. Because quite often, um, brides, they kind of, say they want makeup and then you actually talk to them and they don't actually wear a lot of makeup. So I want them to feel comfortable and I don't want them to feel like, you know, that they're, they're a completely different person. I want them to just be an enhanced version of themselves. 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, I personally feel that a Pinterest board is a nice way for everyone to be on the same page. You can both upload your pictures, you can both comment. Yes. And, um, you know, sometimes it's nice. I would I would always recommend for brides to include in the Pinterest board a picture of themselves, uh -huh. a picture yeah. of their everyday look, yeah. Yeah. you know, a picture of who they're trying to imitate. Because yeah. as you said, sometimes, you know, a bride may want to look like Nila Kunis, but in yeah. real life, she actually has very pale skin. Yeah. So, you know, if you saw that prior to meeting her, you could advise her to go down a different route. Yeah, of course. Yes, no, exactly. No, definitely. And it is, I find that very, very useful. And it's something that... Um, I use quite often. Yeah. Well, this has been so interesting. Thanks yeah, so much for coming problem. today. Guys, if you want any more information on Amanda White, all her information is below on the screen. And um, yeah, do call her if you have an event coming up. Thanks.